Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Theoni with Thrifty Divas. Originally, this haul was supposed to be attached to the walkthrough footage, but it ended up being entirely too long. So if, so this whole video is a separate video. If you have not yet checked out the walkthrough footage, go ahead and do that first so you can get into the feel of the adventure and, and see what we brought home. So it's linked down below for you in the description box and they're posted at the exact same time. So if you're watching this one, the walkthrough's already up. So now let's get on with the haul. Hi guys. So we're here with the haul portion of the walkthrough that you just watched and stay tuned because there's going to be a tiny little bonus footage and haul at the end of this. It's only like four items. It happened last night. It's amazing, at least I think. So stay tuned when this portion's over because there's a little bit of a bonus there for you and woo, you don't want to miss it, in my opinion. Anyway, so it is my first recording of 2022. Today is New Year's Day. Uh, I wish I could say this is going to be the first thing I release in 2022, but the haul I was supposed to release last night, I ran out of time and got sidetracked and it got released this morning. So anywho... This is what we're doing. So as you saw in the walkthrough footage intro, little man had a sleepover at his yaya's house the other day, a few nights ago, and Brett and I decided to take an adults only trip to Savers and see if we could just kind of peruse through some things um, and focus a little better without having to chase after a five-year-old and be like, put that down, put that down, don't touch that, you know, things like that. No, you can't get that. Yes, you can get that. All of that. We were able to focus a little more. So. I think this is a pretty good haul. You guys are going to let me know in the comments, okay? And as always, don't forget to let me know. It's going to be hard. What you think the deal of the day or the overall find of the day in general was from this entire video, including that little bonus section at the end, it's going to be tough. I'm telling you, this is going to be a tough one. I think we're getting a really, really strong start to 2022. So, all right, let's get started. And I'm going to try something different for fun this time. I'm going to try to work my way up in progression of levels of awesomeness. And I think it's going to be kind of hard because I think some things are tied on their awesomeness. But again, you let me know. So I'm going to try. Let's see what happens just for fun. So I'm going to show you the very first thing. The very first thing I picked up, there was a stack of these. There was like 10 of them. Um, and they all, they're all like brand new. They were all green. And I wish they were like a dollar, dollar 29, dollar 49 even, but whatever. They were a dollar 99. And uh, I, I talked myself into it. I said, all right, I have full-blown conversations with myself in thrift stores. If anybody was to follow me, they would think there's something seriously wrong with me. But I have like thorough discussions with myself. And this was one of them. I said, all right, $1.99. All right, I'll get it. It's kind of cool. So I got it for little man's lunches. And I just thought it was cool because it's this like two compartment thing. And honestly, if they were cheaper, I would have gotten two to have a backup because I thought they were pretty cool. No brand on it, no nothing, but it's two separate compartments. So I thought that would be good for like the sa uh, sandwich portion maybe, and then maybe some veggies and dip or some fruit on the side here, or a juice box might even fit in there. So just cool. I just, I thought it was cool. $1.99. Okay, I got one. Kind of unique. I liked it. Then I found these, and it is a two-pack. You see the two, two two pack for $2.99, making it only $1.50 each. Um, they look kind of vintage, kind of, sort of. Remember, it's official now, starting today. Vintage is 2002, according to one very large school of thought. Um, in another school of thought, it would be five years prior to that. Don't make me math. 97, 97. I don't know. I don't know. Don't make me math. Okay, why am I doing it? Um, so yeah, it looks slightly vintagey, I think. Um, and there are, there are these football plates, as you can see, and they're really hard. They're very hard plastic, and I kind of love them. So for a dollar fifty each, I got them. I thought it'd be great for like wings and maybe the celery sticks or the blue cheese in here. I just liked how it had that little reservoir in the middle, and they hard. These are not like cheesy. You hear them? They're great. So I got two of those and uh, Super Bowl's right around the corner. Still working up in levels of awesomeness here. Here we go. Then I walked by these and I saw the size and I said, whoop, whoop, 
don't even care. Okay, so I thought these were amazing. And they were only, oh my goodness, $1.99. These little Mario pajama pants for little man. So he vicariously lives my joy. And he's the cutest thing ever. Anytime he sees anything or gets anything, Mario, he's like, I'm going to give it to you, mommy. I'm like, you can have it, baby. But yes, classic Mario. $1.99. And his size. It was just, it was, it was serendipitous, if you will. All right, then. I forgot this from my island thrift haul, but uh, I'm just going to stick it in here. So I got this ashtray for $6.99 half off. And um, they're like outlandish in prices. So I got it because my goal is to also purchase an ashtray stand one day, um, a vintage one. So I got this to be prepared and I haven't even measured it yet. So let's go ahead and do that now. It appears to be the eight inch variety, which will be perfect when I find my ashtray stand. So I got this ashtray for $3.50 contemplating levels of awesomeness here this i'm going to put in this level of awesomeness because i'm not sure about these so again, as always let me know let me know if you know anything i asked up front because they were together uh the bottom one had no price and it didn't have its classic red times two um but they said it, they said both they said i could have both so i got both of these glass plates these like little glass platters or cake plates they are reversed imaged. The, uh, the, the pattern, the transferred portion is on the back. It's like matte. And then you have that. There's a hint, ever so slight hint of green. No, I checked. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if they're like complete reproductions or if these are perhaps 60s. That would be amazing. But I just don't know. I think, my gut, this could be anything from 60s to 70s to 80s. Maybe even 90s? I don't know. But you please let me know if you know anything at all. And um, for the most part, for a transfer, and, and probably a little old, and we could clearly say vintage, I think, on these, especially if it's 2002, right? Um, the, the, the transfer is in impeccable shape uh out of the two of them the only bit of damage i see is right there can you see that right there that is all other than that they're flawless so please let me know i would love to know and they only worked out at a dollar fifty each so that's pretty awesome pretty pretty awesome and they looked like they would be acrylic you know like but no they're glass no chips and no cracks i kind of love them so let me know hopefully you've had this or something you know and you can tell me when you had it so i put that in that level of awesomeness only because i'm not sure about it at all so it's hard to gauge but i'm putting this here now this you saw me contemplate this kind of sort of, I don't know, was there a contemplation or was there never a contemplation? This Gemco sugar bowl with the, the lid. Um, I think these came with their own plastic spoons, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but this is very, very classic. I don't even know when. I don't know. Let me know. 70s or was it 60s? Let me know. Gemco USA right there on the bottom. Um, so this is all they had, although I went to another thrift store and they had the exact matching little uh, glass, the chopper that has like the four piece blade at the bottom with the spring thing. Um, but I didn't get it cause I'm like, I don't need that, but I do want to slowly put this together with the tray that goes at the bottom and the creamer. Um, I don't but let me know um, if, if you know the years. And this was $2.99, but I snatched it up because it was right then and there that I decided I want to uh, piece together a whole set of this. And I think I go to enough thrift stores to probably be able to do it if I keep my eye open. So this little Gemco Vintage Sugar Bowl. Let me know years if you know. All right, next. I found this. Isn't it beautiful? 
There's no markings, no tags. I don't know. I don't know if it was like handmade, but I'm going to show you all the nails and things in case that helps anyone out who I always say who knows anything about this stuff. So none of the weave is broken. Nothing. It is so gorgeous. A ladder back. And it's this little like doll size rocking chair. Brett was like, what are you going to do with that? I said, I don't know. Bring it to the lake house that we don't have yet. Put a plant on it. Or a doll. Or just leave it. Get a tiny pillow. I love it. And ready? $1.99. There was no chance this was staying behind. There just wasn't. So, that's that. Then, I have to figure out how to show this to you because it's mirror. Um, we found this. It's so dirty. So dirty. <laughs> we found this Bex bar mirror sign and it was $5.99. If you can see that but that is an amazing price for this and it's in great condition neither brett nor myself drink but we just knew that we had to have it so we don't know where we're going to put it yet just like five years ago when we found the beautiful peroni lamp we bought it and it's downstairs on our side table but i don't know but we just we just had to because it was an amazing find and as you saw, I just listed some side-by-side -side sold comps, actual paid prices sold on eBay for the exact same thing. So $5.99 was pretty amazing. All right, moving up in awesomeness. Where do we go next? Where do we go? Um, all right, you know what I'm gonna do? So if you watch me, you are probably already pretty aware that I am thoroughly obsessed with vintage Christmas. And I mean vintage, preferably the 50s. I'll accept the 60s. Older would be even better. But story time with Theoni. There are so many periods of reproduction that because I'm not super well versed in it, even though I watch one of my favorite channels, I hope to actually maybe work with him in the future. Um, but one of my favorite channels is the Cult of Vintage, um, which one of my subscribers actually introduced me to. And I thank you because I love him. So the Cult of Vintage, if you want to go check him out and tell him a Thrifty Divas sent you, that would be amazing because then maybe he would know I exist. But he is my brethren because he's obsessed with vintage Christmas also. So I watch him all the time too. But unless you're like knowledgeable and feel it for yourself or go to an antique mall where you see it and it's labeled and you know, I find it very difficult to be able to decipher true vintage Christmas with all the, the, the periods of reproduction that exist, like I was just telling you. I actually go on eBay for like extended periods of time and type in MCM for mid-century modern Christmas. And I will look at the sold stuff so that also I could see the value at the same time. And I'll just go through it and immerse myself in images of it and descriptions of it to see and maybe it'll help me if I'm ever in, in the presence of it. But I, I catch myself, sorry for the extended story time. I catch myself even when I do that and I'm looking at these descriptions and images and all of that, I, I catch myself thinking and wondering, would I still be able to recognize this if I was at a thrift store in the sea of reproductions and, and Dollar Tree items and target repros because they released a lot of of mid-century modern replicas and things like that and so it's very very hard um where was i going with this i have no idea i really have no idea where i was going with that but what we're gonna do right now 
I was looking through all the, the bags that Savers had and I, I chose three because there was at least one or two pieces in each bag that caught my attention, that got me suspicious. Um, and they were relatively inexpensive. They were $249 and $299 per bag. So what I wanna do with you right now is to open up these bags, take a closer look and see if any of my inclinations were correct. And as always, you gotta tell me anything you know, if you remember it, if you had it, if, if, your, if your grandmother had it or your great grandmother had it or something anything from real life that can maybe help me a little bit i don't know but that's what we're gonna do now and i'm sorry for that long story time but i want you to see where i'm where i'm going with this my goal is to slowly throughout the entire year 365 or whenever i'm i'm in a thrift store or antique place or garage sale and you know all of the above i want to slowly replace every single Christmas piece in my house, in my own stuff, with true vintage. That is the goal. And eventually, I hope to do my whole house. Furniture and all. One of my, other than um, blow molds, huge blow molds that are insanely expensive um, now, one of my other Christmas bucket list items is an aluminum Christmas tree talk about insanely expensive but uh that's that's on the christmas bucket list too those two items but let's take a look enough jibber and enough jabber and uh let's open up these bags i'm a little nervous i feel like i don't know why but we're gonna do it together my people okay so i think somewhere along that story time i think the reason why i was saying all of that is because i'm putting these three bags at this level of awesomeness for this haul because I don't, A, I don't know what's in here. B, even when I know what's in here, I might not know what it is. So that's why we're putting it in this questionable realm, but I still feel like it's pretty awesome. So it's going right before the stuff that I know for a fact is really awesome. So let's look through these bags together. I just have to decide which one to do first. And I think I'll go with this one in terms of levels of awesomeness. I see a progression here. Or maybe not. Now I'm now I'm stumped on the last two. But this one, I feel like we could put before it. <sighs> and I see something broken right away. <laughs> Kills me. All right, so this bag, before we get started, was $2.99 for the whole bag. And let's take a look. Here we go. <laughs> Why am I nervous? I'm so stupid. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, well... That's made in China. I don't know if that's focusing for you. Um, it's weird. It's kind of cold. So I don't know, but it's like this snowman totem pole. And I don't know what it's made out of. I don't know if it's like ceramic or why is it cold? I don't know, but it's heavy. It's got weight to it. So I feel like that's not too special. Next, we have a decapitated mouse. Should we just look at him? He's wooden. Was he sitting on something else? Maybe we'll find it in here, but... <sighs> he got decapitated. No, he looks pretty early. I'm not sure. So I will glue him, but that does make me super sad. I don't know. And let's see if we find something else that he was sitting in. Oh, I feel like there was probably something in this too. There's a little handmade walnut shell with some a Spanish moss inside. I don't know. Oh, look at this one. So this says creative crafts made in Thailand. Um, that's funny though, huh? So that's just like plaster. Oh, uh, that's broken too. Oh my goodness. This is going to be more painful than I thought here. All right. Next, we have a duck. A wooden duck. 
it's got a little, I don't know, it's got a stain on the wing on the top, if you see that. But we have this little duck. This one is super interesting. This is like a little tin string instrument. Hmm. Very interesting. I don't know if it opens, but I don't even want to open it because I'm afraid. All right. Then we have this little reindeer who amazingly, his antlers are not broken. This says 1976 Taiwan, if you can see that. Kurt Adler. Wow. And it says Donder. Was his name Donner? Or is that somebody's last name? Like a family? I don't know. 1976. All right, so we have that as a point of reference, kind of. Ah. Okay, so it has something missing. I guess it had a tail because then I also see Blitzen. Yeah, his name was Donner, wasn't it? Blitzen, same sticker, 1976, and it's missing something there too. Oh gosh, we're gonna be doing a lot of gluing and crying, I feel like. Let's see. Okay, then we have this little broken guy. Oof, a lot of stuff here. We have an antler missing. We have a leg missing. I think we have a nose missing. But there's this. Then we have this made in China. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, oh my goodness. <sighs> hmm. I have all of these broken tidbits that I have to try to house. Wait, wait, okay. This is the tip of the red truck tree. That mystery is solved. Then, oh, oh, all right. Okay, okay, okay. All right, see, it's all from being in the bags, dang it. Here is the antler to this guy because I, I feel like he's old, I don't know. I mean, I would say 70s or 80s, I guess. Um, and his leg. So whatever's missing on his nose is still missing, but at least I can put his main body parts back together. <sighs> Sorry, this is gonna be a long video, guys. <laughs> but um, all right, mm, then I don't know what's going on here. I don't know. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. All right. Mm, I don't know. So here's this Santa. And he's missing a whole bunch of stuff. I think I have one of his arms. Maybe. Yes. I have one of his arms. I don't know if he belongs on this sled or not. He has a hole and it looks like there was little pegs and there's a hole like on the seat, but I don't know. I feel like the color doesn't match. I'm not, oh gosh, guys, I'm so confused. All right, um, and then I have this, this, this random, chimney did he go on here i have no idea he 
He looks old though, right? And he's broken. All right. And this. Oh my gosh. It's a little wooden mouse and everything is there. Everything is there. So tell me anything you know. All right, so that was the first bag. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm sorry. It's going to be a long. Let's do this. I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's do this one, I guess. This was $2.49. And there are five, five different things in here. So there's obviously things that like caught my attention. So this, this just, this looks old, doesn't it? And it's missing the top, but that's okay. You could just display that somewhere. Now, on the wings, I can see it says Hong Kong, but I'm trying to show you everything so that maybe anything helps you if you know anything, okay? All right. All right, so that's the one. Um, there's this. There is this, which is just like hard paper. And somebody already hot glued that bottom back on. But I don't know. Is it like homemade or I don't think so. I don't know. All right, then. Oh, this is made in Italy on the Mary. Uh, see, so this is glued together, so I can't open this without breaking the plastic. But she's loose. So tell me anything you know. It was these like diorama type ornaments that, that I was like, hmm, I feel like what's inside is old. All right, this unglued as well. Yeah, I can see some glue on the bottom there, but it, it did unglue. I don't know if these are new or old, but we have Mr. and Mrs. Claus sitting in chairs. Can I open this? Oh, I can. Okay, and then it's got that on top. I can open it. All right. You think these are old or no? I just don't know. Like, they could be old. They could be, like, friggin' Dollar Tree. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. No markings at all. Yeah, they're just, like, hard plastic. <sighs> I don't know. All right, and then... This little one, this, I can open this too, I think. Okay. This little flocked, he's glued in there pretty well though. And he's glued in with hot glue, but he, I feel like I at least remember things like this from my childhood. So at least 80s. He's a little flocked bear. And 
then the last one, this one excited me a lot. Okay. That is on top. It says made in China on his foot. Wait, so he's not old? I don't know. Let me know. Does that do, does that make a difference in this case? And it is it's pipe cleaner. So I maybe he's not old. Maybe he's still old. Maybe he's just not as old as I thought it was going to be all right well that's that and now we have one more bag of ornaments i'm sorry guys gosh this is gonna be long jeez come back come back <laughs> i don't know <laughs> dang it all right 2.99 oh yeah let's just staple directly onto the stuff inside the bag what did you staple through here savers oh this is Jeez. Oh, Aunt Donna, Merry Christmas. Oh, my love, Jack. Uncle Cheech, Merry Christmas. Oh, my love, Jack. Sorry, Jack. Okay. Let's see here. Where to begin? All right, let's pull out this metal one. All right, so there is this little delicate, delicate, delicate... Little metal, thin, thin, thin metal ornament. With Santa. Just, oh, I'm just gonna again show you closer construction in case it helps anyone. If you can see how it's joined so thin oh my goodness so oh so thin and so bendable but that's that and then okay i uh, i would have thought this was older but it says honey bears 1984 kurt adler handcrafted in korea it is this little bear to my good friend merry christmas This wagon says made in Taiwan. Mm. That is a uh, metal at the bottom, like tin. The bear has fuzz on him, but it's a little flocked bear in there. Fabric covered wagon. Oh, this guy's so cute. Oh my goodness. He was clearly glued on to something. But we have this little guy. And the, I don't know how to explain it, but his fur feels of the old variety. Not like anything you would find today. It's like more dense and I can't explain it. So that's that. Hmm. And then we have this. This just has like a piece of yarn on the top. I can't believe that's intact. All right, tell me anything you know. If there's anything to know. Or did I buy all this like an idiot? And this says... 
banner brand made in Taiwan. This is like, I don't know, it's like a little composite uh, paper mache maybe. So maybe it wasn't as awesome. I don't know. I don't know. Did I get any 50s? 50s, 60s? I don't know. I'm feeling good about this encasement, though. I don't know. Let me know. I hope somebody knows something. All right. Now, can, all right. Let's get on to the pieces I know are awesome. All right. We have three pieces left, and they are all pretty stinking awesome. So it's going to be hard to rank these. Um man i don't know all right let's let's just go i don't know first thing i see sitting on this shelf is this dirty dirty inside i need to 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 work on this um i saw it right away and i know what it is i mean if anybody knows a little bit about this stuff you know what it is right away too so this is an opalescent and this is supposed to be clear uh an opalescent fenton perfume bottle uh, no stamp so it is pre-1970 that is for sure and it is missing its stopper which would have had the heavy opalescence on there and it would have been a solid ball but it was $2.99 so then this piece is so cool okay so this is a hazel atlas uh 1950s um yeah, 1950s, uh, they call this um, boopy, <laughs> boopy, boopy bead or something like that. And Hazel Atlas did a lot of this. So um, there's something called candle wick uh, glass, which is the balls, but they're spaced apart. When then Hazel Atlas later on came up with something a little cheaper and, and way easier to make. And it's the balls, but they're connected. And that's called boopy. So this is, this has boopy. Um, now I saw it and I was like, oh my goodness, 1950s Hazel Atlas boopy. And I was like, $1.49, are you crazy? You have no idea what you're selling. And I'm like, I'm gonna use this as a vanity tray type thing on my dresser, right? Yes, absolutely. But guys, I don't know if you know the thorough coolness about this thing. So this, like I said, um, 1950, early 1950s, this is called a sip and smoke snack tray, okay? So if you pay close attention, you'll notice here this, it's, it's, it's three divisions, big and then these two small, and this is slightly curved here, this wall. So it's got a different shape here. There is a little cup with a boopy handle <laughs> that goes here. That's the sip part, right? And then it's the like snack tray, whatever you want. Just put the side by side in to show you what the cup will look like. Maybe I'll find that loose someday too. And I'll put that in there too. You can put loose change in it on your dresser. I don't know, but ready for even better? You heard me say sip, smoke, and snack, right? Sip and smoke, sip and smoke snack tray. If you pay it close attention right here, this edge is different. This corner is different than any of the other just regular boopied corners. That is the little ashtray part. God, it's so amazing. Yeah. Okay. So a dollar forty-nine. Pretty, pretty impeccable. On the scale of awesomeness, this probably is in its rightful position. So I found this. You may think this is milk glass. This is not milk glass. It's actually quite often mistaken for milk glass, but it is not. It is so thin. It is paper thin. I am amazed that this survived. No chips, no cracks, nothing. It is in flawless, flawless condition. Okay, this is a Macbeth Evans 
American Sweetheart pattern. This was available in, uh, I believe they called it Petal Pink, was the other color. I'm just trying to show you the American Sweetheart design. And this, like opalescent glass, just like very them. This is this is very Macbeth Evans. Macbeth Evans is the last name of the two men who merged together to make the company. Um, and this, so it was the petal pink and this, which they actually coined Monox. I don't know how to say it. M-O-N-A-X. And this was only, I love it when it's like a tight window. This was only produced 1930 to 1936 and I got one and it is breathtakingly beautiful and it was $3.99 yeah paper thin paper thin amazing I love it okay that's gonna do it for this portion stay tuned right now because I'm giving you a little bonus footage and then I'm gonna catch you back on the other side of that to say goodbye so check this out hey guys I okay so I'm gonna tack this on as a little bonus to probably a savers haul okay so I was just at home and I was like I need to go to the grocery store and I got to go get, uh, we need coffee creamer. We need the, the, the baby's milk. You know, he's not a baby, but you know, the baby's milk and a few other things. And tonight is New Year's Eve and I, my parents are coming over and I'll, I, I want to get some like snacky things, etc., etc. Right. And then I was like, oh, darn it. I don't even have like little champagne flutes for our non-alcoholic cider. I don't even have the cider. So I need to get that from the grocery store too. But anywho, I was like, you know what? Before I go to Dollar Tree and pay $1.25 for two plastic ones, I'm gonna run into the thrift store real quick, which is only about a mile down the road from the grocery store. Let me give it a shot. It was Island Thrift. It was the one that Brett and the three of us, Brett the, Brett, the baby, and me, went to uh, what, two nights ago, I think it was, three nights ago, I don't even know. And I actually filmed that haul today. But anyway, so I was like, let me run in, look at me with my stupid self, going to find champagne flutes on New Year's Eve. Well, lo and behold, I found four of them. At the half price color, it was only one half price color today. So I just got four adorable champagne flutes for $2.50. Amazing. And then I found something else pretty amazing that I actually talked about in one of my last holes. And I just found another one that's not broken, hint, hint. And you know me, always looking for one particular thing. And guys, I pulled out my light. I said, no way. Let me pull out my light. And oh my gosh, guys. I have no words right now. I think it's the best piece I've ever found. I think. Kind of. In my opinion. Oh. And then I found some uh, something else super cool. So anyway, I'm like blown away. We're going to get into this haul for you guys right now. And uh, I'm going to run into the uh, to the grocery store. Whew. But I had to film this little intro because I am blown away right now. Thank goodness I needed champagne flutes. All right. I'm going to show you guys what I just got. All right. Wait no more. Okay, so these are the champagne flutes I found. I did not care what they looked like. I was literally going only for the cheapest ones. They have no mark on the bottom, but this is the set I found at the half price color ticket. So I got a set of four for half of $4.99. So for $2.50, the same price as two packs of the plastic Dollar Tree ones, I got four of these pretty cute glass ones. 
and that started it all. Next, I found these amazing Indiana glass snack trays. These are from the 50s. Um, they are triangle shape. They're is a little indentation here for the little cup to rest in. These are in the olive green color. They also came in clear, and this is the daisy and button pattern, which is underneath, and then it's smooth on the top. They did have three, but I decided to pick up two because I'm a weirdo. If they had four, I would have gotten all four. I love the lines on the handle of the mug. The shape is just beautiful, and I love it, and I thought... Maybe my mom and I could have a nice little lunch snack with tea or something. And they were $4.99 each. These don't have any crazy, crazy value. $4.99 is a great price. And they're just vintage awesomeness. And uh, I love them. Hopefully, I'll get a set of four one day. And next, I decided to peruse the baskets quickly on my way out. And oh, lo and behold, look what I see. This little thing. And I decide to turn it over because I see the nails on top. And wouldn't you know it, it is another Longer Burger basket. It says 1993. It's tiny, but I'll probably just use it for like candy or something for now. Whatever. It was $1.99 and it's not broken. So now this is my first not broken one and my second one ever. Then we have these, right? Great, great stuff so far. Went in and found what I was looking for and found two other awesome, awesome things. And then I found this and it was $10.99. No problem at all. I tried to look this up. I saw two listed, not sold, but two listed, one at 50, one at 70. Nobody listed years, nobody listed makers. So this has a gold trim. It has rose detail in the gold and in uh, bright light and with the flash on, you can still see that green glow of the uranium. And I haven't measured it, so let's go ahead and measure it together. It looks like it is about 12 and three quarter inches. So right about 13, it is this like cake platter or, or whatever you want, but it, it's, it's huge. It's amazing. It's got a, a, a tremendous glow and I cannot believe I found it. And for $10.99, yes, please all day. So that is what I found on this quick impromptu trip into Island Thrift to get my champagne flutes. Speechless. It takes a lot, but I'm speechless. So that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I know it was super, super long, um, but I wanted to go through those, those Christmas bags especially. Please tell me anything you know. I'm starting to think I wasn't as lucky as I thought I might be but please let me know if you know anything or remember anything that helps an awful lot and if you have not yet hit that subscribe button already I would love if you would do so and become a permanent part of the Thrifty Divas family because we would love to have you and we tend to have a lot of fun here so happy 2022 everyone my first filming of 2022 on the first day of 2022 and until the next video Stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.